Okay, here we're given a hemisphere. We are asked to find the CG of the hemisphere by integration. We're also given a, another piece of information. We're told that the hemisphere is hollow. This means that uh, there is no mass inside, I mean, no material inside the hemisphere. We just only have this thickness. In a case like this, we're going to try and find the center of mass by integration. Basically, how we're going to go about that is first, we're going to have go through three steps. The first step is to slice the hemisphere. We're going to slice the hemisphere. It, since we are told that this, this is hollowed, so that means they are not going to only find the, the thickness or a slice on the, which goes around the surface of the, of the hemisphere. After we've done that, we're going to go to a second step. The second step, we're going to find the, the typical mass. We're going to find the typical mass, typical mass of the, of our slice. Our slice is going to go like this. So it's just at the, it's like a, a ring, on the surface of the, of of the hemisphere. So, we're going to find the typical mass of this, of this ring, or of this slice. And then, the third step, we're going to find the total mass. Total, the total mass of the whole, of the whole uh, hemisphere. Basically, the mass will lie all around the thickness here. That's where or of that's where the mess is coming from. So after we have found the mess, then we're going to find then the CG of the of the hemisphere. And then after that, yeah, after that we're going to find the the CG of the CG of the hemisphere. Since we are finding the center of gravity, basically we have an X and we have a Y. The center of gravity in the X and the center of gravity in the Y going up. If you could just draw a Cartesian plane here, it goes like this. So we have here our Y and then here we have our X. We know that the CG in the X direction is going to be in the center. So we want the CG, basically the question is asking for the CG in the Y axis. Where in the Y axis are we going to find our center of mass? So to do this, that's where then all this, we have to follow all these steps here. I have to follow all the steps here. Okay, let's go about doing this question. So what we're going to do from our diagram, from our diagram we're going to first, let's draw out the strip that we want. So we're going to slice here. I'm going to slice here, so it goes all around. This is our slice. This is this is the this is a slice in the in the in the in the hemisphere. Basically, it has a, some a bit of of thickness, a bit of thickness. Since we know that it's our hemisphere is hollowed out, and then and then we're going to. 
construct um, okay and set up this angle this angle is theta we when we put an angle here which is theta and then we have d theta small increments of theta along here so we have d theta here so we have theta and then we have d theta so all around from this d theta goes around uh, we have 2 pi here I mean uh, p half pi so our d theta goes all around here so up to up to theta in a way this here is is ds we let this we let this part to be ds this is like uh, if i could say the width of our of our slice in a way yeah this is ds we have been told that the radius is a and that we have a surface density yeah we have a surface density and then we have and then surface density and then we have the radius also which is equal to a so we're going to use this these two pieces of information in solving out the question but then another interesting thing that we see here is that uh, ds ds is equal to ds is equal to the radius times d theta because it's like in in arc length this is like an arc length so this d so in a way if I, if I could zoom in here so we have we have here d theta and then we have a or a so this part here is going to be a d theta you see so and we know that this part is our ds that's why we are saying that our ds is equal to a d theta okay now let's go about going this so we have done the first step we have found our slice then we're going to the sec second step where we find our typical mass so we're going to say number two so the typical mass the typical mass or we call it dm the typical mass dm will be equal to uh, it will be equal to the surface area of our of our slice this works surface area of our slice which will be 2 pi r times the thickness the thickness so that's why we're going to use the surface density times the thickness and then from here let's let's try and simplify things out this r is the radius of our slice if you go to the diagram here here is our thickness so the radius this is the radius the radius okay we have the radius here that small r and and in relation to what we have been given, we have been given the angle and we are told that this is the radius, the peak radius is A. So automatically we know that this small radius will be equal to A cos theta. So yes, this is A and we are looking for the adjacent side. So it's A cos theta. So let's 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 write it here. So this will be two pi of a cos theta, and 
not forgetting our density. And then all of this, uh, okay, uh, all of this. So here, here there's a DS here. There's a DS since it's our it's our width in a way. So, but then we know that DS is equal to a d theta. Let's simplify things out. This becomes two pi of a squared cos d theta times our surface density. So this is our, our dm. What we want to do now is to find the total mass, the third step. The total mass, the total mass is equal to the integration of the typical mass. So what we have, we have just found, we are going to integrate it. Another piece of question is like, what are, what are our limits of integration here? But if we focus on the diagram, we are starting from 0 and we are going to 2 pi. That's, that's, that is the region where our theta lies from 0 to 2 pi, m to pi over 2. Yeah, so that's that will be our limits of integration. So we're going to take the integral from zero to pi over two of two pi a squared cos theta d theta times our surface density. So let's take let's just take our constants out of the out of the integral. So we're going to have two pi a squared times surface density, and then take the integral of this. This becomes we know that the integral of cos is sine. But then okay, it's the integral of cos is sine. So two pi a squared sine theta but then we are still integrated from 0 to 2 pi the sine of 90 degrees it's 1 minus the sine of 0 degrees which is 0 so this means this means then uh, this all of this is multiplied by 1 so we'll be left out with 2 pi a squared times the surface density so now we have found our mass this is our mass here so and I'm out of space okay I'll just continue here so we have found our mass remember we're going back we are following these steps so we've done step one we've done step two step three now we're going to step four whereby we're finding the city of the hemisphere but we have stated that we already know this the city in the x uh axis we want the city now in the y axis so i'm going to say part four cg in the y Exists. The formula says that the CG in the y axis is equal to the integral of y times dm all over total mass. So we have, we, we know dm, we know uh, the total mass, we have just calculated both of these, but what is y? If you go to the diagram here, y is the height 
it is the height of our stripping if I, if I can say something like that from the origin so how high is our strip from the origin so a simple way to find this is to use the angle theory here we know that the opposite you using trick trick equations so in order to find this side we're going to use sine which is the opposite side so the sine will give us our height so let so let's, let's do that so we're going to have the integral and then y will be the radius times sine theta so it's a sine theta a sine theta times dm we calculated we found dm in the previous steps here we did find dm so it's just it's a simple case of substituting dm so it will be 2 pi a squared cos theta d theta times the surface density out of space here. Then all of this will be we can divide this by the by the total mass which is two pi a squared times the surface density. The limits of integration here because we see that that integral sign so still we're having the same from zero degrees to pi over two. So it's zero to pi over two. So, so let's take the constants out of the integral sign. But then in a way you can already see like they're going to cancel out even if when 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 you take them out of the of the integral sign. So two pi two pi and two pi a squared and a squared are going to cancel out. And then the surface density, excuse me, and the surface density are going to cancel out. You know, if we take them, so just to save time, let's just do cancel them here. And then after that, we'll be left with the integral of the integral of a. Okay, take take a out of the common of the integral sign since we know it is a constant. So let's do zero and pi over two. So I can say sine theta cos theta d theta. That's what we are left with. So it's a simple case of integrating this. So there are various ways we can do this using uh, using uh, using mathematics. You know, sub trick sub trick substitution. So I'm going to use trick substitution for this it's a simple case of saying you of letting some case of letting uh, maybe let's sign theta to be equal to you and then the integral of that will be du equal but then we're going to find something like this which is a sine squared theta over 2 this is we will not take out the integral of this, but still we're going to evaluate this from pi over two and zero. So it's a simple case now of of saying. Okay, it's a simple case of 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 substitu of substituting substituting this. So we know that sine of zero is equal to zero. Okay, and then sine of pi over two. Is equal to one, but then this squared still one squared is one, so I left out with a over two. Ah, uh, you can see. So you are left out with a over two. So this is this is our our CG in the in the y axis. Yeah, but. Uh,